Uh, what's going on everybody? It's me, Ollie, and I'm back again for another video and uh, I'm sure by the title of this video you know what we're going to be talking about um, and this is something that I never, ever dream, I never even thought this would ever, I'd, I'd be doing this, this is, this is absolutely shocking. Um, I was at work today, doing the clothes, I came home, just relaxing, unwinding, talking to my dad, having a beer. I'm scrolling, just looking at through my phone, you know, getting, you know, looking at all in, looking at what's coming in the next few days. And I see that Triple H on Twitter has put out a tweet that Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda has passed away at the age of 36. And I just can't believe it. This is crazy. Um... This for me, this is sort of, this death has hit me like when Eddie Guerrero passed away. I, I'll be really, really honest. It's so, this is insanity. I, I, I can't, I just, I don't get it. I, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm absolutely shocked. Um, I mean, professional wrestling is a passion of mine. It always will be. I love wrestling. And, you know, the guys we watch in the ring, we gain a connection with them. We see them wrestle. We see what they do. They're on the road so many weeks a year and they put their blood, sweat and tears into this art form of wrestling. And Bray was an artist, you know, he was a, a talent that was an absolute creative genius. Bray Wyatt was somebody who he could reinvent himself and he could do some of the most unique things to draw the fans in, to draw his persona, to, to his energy was something so unique. He had such an aura about him with his fireflies where you put your torches on in the arena. So you were a part of it. You were part of what he did. You were part of his show. You were part of Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt was the reason you went to that show. Um, Bray, obviously, you know, NXT days before that, Husky Harris, Nexus, but he got his big start when he became Bray and he was in the rocking chair and he was with the late Luke Harper and he was with Eric Rowan and they were that trio. They were the Wyatt family. And I remember seeing Bray wrestle John Cena in New Orleans at WrestleMania 30. And just the reaction that Bray got on his way to the ring. He's got the whole world in his hands. He, and now it's just, he's got everything in his hands now. It's just, it really is sad. Because um, people, for a long time, people didn't really know what was going on with Bray. You know, he came back at Extreme Rules and... People were saying that they didn't really get where this character was meant to be going and then he was off and there was that point where he was meant to be working with Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania 39 and then that all kind of went under the carpet a bit and I think things changed um, and then he was disappeared and and then we all just thought he's injured or he's got, we don't really know, we don't, no one knows that information will come out, you know, I'm sure things will happen and things will leak out, but it's just insanity that I'm even making this video. Um, but what I will do, I will talk about some of the good things about Bray and things I'll remember him for. So I've met Bray Wyatt, I've met him twice and both occasions, he was an absolute diamond, one of the nicest guys that you could ever meet. Um, the first time I met him was 20, 2013, was it 2013? But 20, it was around 2014, sorry, 2014 when I met him. Um, it was when he was doing a tour with the UK WWE tour, and I met him over here. And it was a very quick opportunity when I met him. Uh, very quick, very brief. I had a very old, cheap phone. Didn't get a very good photo, a bit blurry. But He was the only one that came over. I shouted, you are the future of this business. And he came straight over when they were getting on the bus. And, and he, well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Very, very humble. 
um, and I met him and he was great. Uh, but I was like, I, I want to get a better photo with Bray. I want to meet him again. I like Bray. So, WrestleMania 38, Dallas, Texas. Um, the year prior, he got released from his WWE contract. And he was going to be at... Uh, he got announced as WrestleCon's headliner at the Fairmont in Dallas, Texas. And... I remember him being announced and I was at the time very much like I'd like to meet Bray, get a proper meet with him. Um, I remember buying a Fiend figure, I was very happy with that. And um, I remember meeting him and I just remember him being super nice, super friendly. Um, I remember Shug shaking his hand and I was like yowie shouting yowie wowie and he, he was very, very friendly. He was like, hey bro. and. I says, it's a shame that they, they dropped the ball with you. And he says, I know, I know, but, you know, and I says, I love the masks and what you're doing with, it's very, I love the Fiend mask. And he said, we were talking, we, I think we spoke a little bit about Corey Taylor and Slipknot because of how cool those masks are. It's that Slipknot artwork in those masks. And I says, and I think I just said something like, you know, thank you. And, you know, are you, when are you doing your autographs? He says, I don't know, bro. And that was it. I've actually got that on footage and I think, in respect to it, I'm going to post that at the end of this little clip, um, in this little memoriam. Um, but yeah, Bray was a Bray was a legend, and he's gone so soon. Um, and I just, I just can't believe it. It's just so sad that Bray Wyatt, a talent who had such a future, the Undertaker endorsed him at Raw Thirty earlier this year um he worked such a you know he had a decent program with la night that was one of the only things i really remember from this past run um that run with that that program with la night which you know pushed both of those guys the last time i saw bray wyatt live i was actually i was at um it was a, i think it was the smackdown before survivor series war games it was in rhode island and he came out and he cut a promo and you could see people loved him. And he was just so, what he does, what he brings, everything. The music, the aura, the energy. Um, just special. Bray's a special talent. Bray was a special talent. And he's 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 a, he's going to be one that's going to be missed. And I don't, you're not going to see another Bray Wyatt. It's just not, it's not going to happen. Um, yeah. Uh, that's that's all I'm gonna say. Um, so yeah, Bray, Bray Wyatt. All I can say is rest in peace, sir. Um, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna talk about. But I will leave you now um, with this little bit of footage from WrestleMania, WrestleCon. Getting to meet Bray. What a legend. Um, we'll be back in a few days with some more videos. But in respect to everything, I'm just leaving it with this one this week, guys. Um, and I'll be I'll be back next week for the regular schedule. So that's it. Rest in peace, Bray. Gain your wings. Yeah, we wow.